In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the third person control F plus spline mode asset on your custom project. You'll see how to set up just the essential files on any type of project. In this example, we will use unit primitives and standard objects. But you can use any humanoid compatible player avatar and scenario. Let's begin. The first thing we will need is to add a ground to the scene. For this, let's use some unit primitive. In the unit menu, go to Game Object, 3D Object, and Plane. Reset it under the Spectre and scale it to 2 dot o1 and 2 you may mark it as convex and also check the static option for a better visualization of the scene let's reduce the light intensity go to the directional light and adjust its intensity to dot 3 now Go to the Unit Asset Store and download the third person controller plus fly mode asset. When the package window appears, select the following files. You may keep the entire animations folder and the animator controller. From materials, deselect all but keep the character physics material. Deselect the entire models folder, the readme and the scenes folder. From scripts, level scripts, keep only the third person or the cam basic script and keep the entire player scripts folder. Deselect the textures folder and finally from project settings deselect all but keep only the input manager. Now click on import. The next thing we need is to add a player avatar. You may use any humanoid compatible avatar, but for this tutorial we use Ethan from the unit standard assets. You can add it under assets, import package, characters. From the prompter window click on none and scroll down until you find the Ethan FBX model, select it and click on import. Now go under the assets folder and find the Ethan FBX model. Drag it to the scene, reset it and tag it properly as player. Go we'll begin the player setup. On the animator controller, select for the controller parameter the character controller that came with the asset. Now to the player physics, click on add component, physics, capsule collider. For the material parameter, select the character physics material. We need to set the measures of the capsule collider so it fits the player. As you can check in the readme file, it's really important to set up the capsule collider correctly. For instance, if let the player mesh surpasses the capsule collider from above, the movement may not work properly, causing the player to get stuck. For Ethan, the radius is .26, the height is 1.6, and the y-axis of the center, as you can check in the readme file, is always half the height minus dot one. In this case, dot seventy nine. Now the rigid body. Click on Add Component, Physics, Rigid Body. You may set the player mass. For Ethan, we will use seventy. Now open the constraint section and freeze the rotation on the three axes. 
Now to the player behaviors, which is responsible for the player in-game actions. In this new version of the assets, you may check that the behaviors are in completely separated scripts that can be toggled on and off on demand, even during gameplay. If you enjoyed this asset, take a look at the Covering Shooting System third-person shooter package featuring two new player behaviors. A complete covering system with environment interactions and a shooting system with customizable shot and long weapons. Back to the scene, we will add the basic behavior, the script that manages all the custom player behaviors. Click on Add Component, Scripts, Basic Behavior. We need to set the third person camera that will follow the player. Drag the main camera to the player camera parameter. For the other parameters, we will keep the default values. The first custom behavior we will add is the move behavior, responsible for walking, running, sprinting and jumping actions. Click on Add Component, Scripts, Move Behavior. We will not alter the parameters for this script. Now to the behavior responsible for aiming, and strafe movements. Click on Add Component, Scripts, Aim Behavior Basic. If you desire, you may set a custom texture for the default crosshair. For this example, we will use one of the unit standard assets. Let's pick this one. Considering the height of the demo scene player avatar, Ethan is shorter than him. So, we must reduce the pivot offset on the Y value. Let's use 1 for Ethan. The last behavior we will add is the Fly behavior. Click on Add Component, Scripts, Fly behavior. And we will keep the default parameters for the script as well. The last thing we need is to set up the third person camera script. Select the main camera and click on Add Component, Scripts, third person of the cam script. The first parameter is a reference to the player that the camera will focus. Drag your player avatar to the player parameter of the camera. The next parameter refers to the camera pivot and the offset relative to it. For this tutorial, we will adjust the horizontal offset to centralize on the player. And we will keep the default values for the other parameters. Before testing our scene, let's save it. Go to File, Save Scene, and name it properly. Remember also to save your project. Now let's test the scene. Click on play. And we can see the camera working properly. The player movement for run. For walk. Jump. And sprint working. The aim mode, note the crosshair texture on the center of the camera, the switch shoulder button, and finally the fly mode working as expected. This concludes our tutorial. If you enjoyed this asset, I invite you to take a look at the author's page on the Unit Asset Store for my custom player behaviors and other packages. Thanks.